Hey guys, it's Bethany. I hope you're all doing fabulous. I hope you're all rocking your project pans and seeing tons of pan and hopefully using up shadows. This is update number nine for my Pan That palette. I have three mini palettes if you're new to this project for me. And this update, I have used up two more shadows and definitely been working on lots of pan showing on other shades. So we'll jump into it. I do have pictures for every single month along the way. First palette I have is the MAC and Intriguing Scarlet palette and although I haven't used up another shadow completely this update I have made even more progress on at least these three shadows um, really seeing a lot more of a dip in the brown shade which is I can never remember you think by now I'd have it memorized after nine months of using these the well spice shade I have been using like crazy I've been using it as a bronzer a lot to try to get through this very soon next update I will have it done it's Totally a personal goal for me. Uh, the next one, which is Gentle Heat, I definitely think that I'm extending the pan more and more. It's a very densely packed shadow. It's a little bit dry. This has been a palette that I've had for quite a few years. Um, and I've been using that as a crease shade, a transition shade, as well as a eyebrow shade. And I really like that color. So it's not um, going as quickly because I'm not using it like as a bronzer like the other one. I do feel like there's a little bit more pan in the green shade shade which is the warm suede still have totally neglected that tealy uh, dark green I don't know what it is but I for some reason cannot gravitate towards it and then the grand entrance shade which is this gorgeous cranberry you may see in the picture you may not but there is slowly getting a dip in that it's also a very densely packed shadow just like this one is and so a little goes a long way and I typically just use it in the outer V to kind of smoke it out I really think that by the end of this project I will have these three at least done won't have that one done it would be very surprising if I somehow get that done I might make like a nail polish out of it and then it would be great if I could hit at least pan on that cranberry just kind of as we're getting closer to the end I'm getting a little bit more <laughs> realistic about my goals here This next one is the one that I have made a ton of progress in. It's the Maybelline Eye Studio in Pink Punch. And I used up two of the eyeshadows this month. So um, the two shadows that I used up was this one and this one. It was a really light kind of uh, baby pink shade that I was using really consistently as either a transition shade and a blush. And then there was a deeper kind of shimmery cranberry shade that was gorgeous, kind of a bit of a mauve. And um, I used that primarily as an eyeshadow and I used that up completely. There's only a tiny bit left of this pinky highlighter shade and I have been using that as an eyeshadow and a highlighter for my face and I really love how that looks. And then now I'm really at the halfway mark with that really nice purple shade and I definitely think that I'll be able to use it probably not by next month um, but definitely by the end of the challenge. A very exciting step in this Rimmel uh, Glam Eyes in Black cab is I hit pan on the silver shade, which I didn't think was going to happen ever. I've had a really hard time using this shade, but I've been layering it a lot with a lot of other eyeshadows and, you know, over um, top of different colored, like, cream bases to create kind of a metallic look and kind of change the shift of that cream base. So I've been trying to use that, like, hardcore, and it now shows. So so probably by next update I will have this section of like that cross done and I did hit pan on the black shade over here it's probably gonna be hard to see but definitely by next update I want to have all three of those shades completed and my goal my realistic goal for the end of the year for this palette is to have half of the silver done and all of the other shades on this section done so have everything done except maybe half of the silver left
seeing the home stretch for sure and I think that it's going to be a really successful end of the project pan as we have just a few months left of 2016. Again, I hope you guys are all doing fabulous with your pan that palettes and I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye!